Aha! This is Laborts, and it is so nice to have you here. These are the paints you need. Okay guys, this time it's zenithal priming. If you have never heard about that, I brief you in. You prime your minis black or uh, grey and then spray it with white from a 60 to 75 degree angle so it will roughly imitate how the light would hit the mini. We are not using white right now. This is camouflage grey because Papa Laborts want to build up the values nice and slowly like granny takes the stairs. I'm using these airbrush ready paints because I got fed up pretty fast moving paints from the Citadel pots uh, to the airbrush but you can use basically any greys, it doesn't really matter. Then we go to a bit brighter grey, this one called USA flies grey. USA uh, stands for USAS but these paints are made in Spain and uh, got Russian instructions on them. Maybe it's a bit of a foreshadowing from their part, but uh, let's hope not. Alright, try to decrease your sway focusing on the torso and the top part of the fold. Don't worry that you lose contrast, because this is a fast painting method. And we sacrifice some of the contrast on the altar of speed. Now with the whiting. We gave a last squirt from the airbrush, that's what she said. Inks are great because they flow nicely from the airbrush. Not this one, but uh, I guess there are some other inks out there that does that. Okay Papa Laborts, but what if I don't have an airbrush? Then you can technically do it with a spray can primer. The downside is you don't have control over the flow and the consistency of the paint, so the transitions between the colors will be much less smoother and a bit sp Potty. If you don't mind that, just give it a go. As you can see our angel guy is nicely primed with dark shadows under the folds. This is the look we are aiming for. Now let's start working on the skin with Cadian Flesh Tone. Obviously you can go for contrast paints, but I'm going to use regular acrylics throughout the process. You need to use thin layers, otherwise you will lose the light values uh, that the Zeneta Priming created. We are glazing the colors. But Papa Laborts glazing takes so much time. No, no it doesn't. I use like two coats of very thin layers and they cover the skin super nicely. Then I cover the hair with Zamesi Desert. Same thin layers, we want those shadows to show through. For the robes I used Fenrinzi and Grey. Really nice pale blue color. You see the shadows stay where they are. Dilute your paints with water or glaze medium. If you are not sure about the ratios, just use glaze medium to a 2 to 3 ratio. So 2 part medium, 3 part paint. This might be a bit too thin and you need a couple of layers, but you won't be losing your shadows so I don't have to slap on your tiny hand. Now with Mornfang Brown. Let's paint the sandals and the grip of the sword or uh, gladius because these angels are also Roman themed like the rest of the angels in the Heavenfall box. For the halo I used flesh gets yellow with the same consistency we used before. This will create some shadows on the halo, if you don't want that just use a base layer consistency so the halo will feel much brighter and uh, glowier. For the sword blade I used gunmetal and greedy gold for the cross guard and pebble. Alrighty, wash time. Cover the skin, the skin only and just the skin with flash wash or uh, seraphim sepia and use dark tone or null noil on the sword's metal parts. Play with the wash, don't let it pull on the top of the chest and don't let it pull on the chest crevices either. Light is coming from above and a little bit from the left, so those areas shouldn't create any shadows. Okay? Okay. Now with the same thin layers, we highlight the skin with KDM flesh tone, focusing on the shoulders, face and chest. Do not paint over the crevices, we want those faint shadows created by the wash. The major highlight areas on the head would be the forehead, cheek, nose and the chin. Ok 
Okay, now we reduce the highlight areas with Kislev Flash and start to move the focal point toward the torso. I'm aiming these highlights to the right side of the mini, so I create bigger highlight areas on his right shoulder and breast. Or uh, back? Is there a singular form for backs? So this will indicate nicely that the light is coming from the left. We use thin layers for that as well. It's nice if you can work with thick layers, but when you use thick layers without understanding how different paint dilutions work, you can easily create chunky highlight areas without any transitions. Papa Labor's not saying that everything needs to be smooth all the time, but it must be your choice to make something smooth and something more rough, not the result of a coincidence. One thing needs to be silky smooth all the time, and that is Granny's butt cheeks. Other than that, it's pure artistic choice. Now mix some ICLO to the Kislev flesh, so we can push the contrast even more. Cover 80% of the previous layer with this color and you can see our nice angelic skin start to glow like Granny's smiling face when you put an extra drop of room in her tea. Then we use pure ice yellow on the same areas. This will enhance our focal point greatly. Like, did you notice the boots are not even highlighted? Uh, sure, because you painted them, but when someone grabs your mini and looks at it, they are going to focus on the skin, because that's what we want them to focus on. So basically mini painting is uh, social engineering 101. Now think about a number between 1 to 10. Was it 7? Let me know in the comments if it was, because then Papa Labor should uh, start a mentalist channel. No, I'm uh, selling the idea to TLC, miniature mentalist. Now that's a show I would watch. Okay, for the final highlights, I use Ivory. Extremely small areas and super thin consistency, so wipe off any excess paint on a paper towel, otherwise you won't be able to control the paint. This will make a ranger skin nice and shiny. I also paint the eyes with Ivory. This mini has some greatly sculpted eyes, so it's relatively easy to paint them. The key to painting guys is the right paint consistency. If your paint is too thick, then it's gonna dry before it touches the mini. If it's too thin, you can't control the flow of the paint, so it will run into the recesses and I have to slap on your tiny hand. Now let's start working on the robes. Mix some ice yellow to the Fenrisian grey and paint the top parts of the folds. Same thin layers and try to do the same motion with your brush placing the highlights like when you are glazing. This way the transition can be smooth and it kinda makes sense that everything is smooth about these angelic boys because they are, you know, angels. Heavenly songs and the 24 uh, Celsius degree, the air is smelling clean with a hint of cinnamon or uh, something like that. But oh yeah, they want to kill you in the game. I mean, that's the downside. But uh, they are corrupted by the forces of evil. Alright, I was uh, wondering if I should paint them holy or corrupted. So I asked my patrons what they wanted to see. And they voted on the angelic style. So if you want to participate in such decision making and some exclusive content, you should check Papa Labortes' Patreon page. Ok, now let's add some ivory to the previous mixture and gradually reduce the highlight areas. Same brush motion this time as well, but mostly focusing on the folds around the torso. Then I use ice yellow on the top part of the wings. It will create a simple gradient and make the wings a lot more interesting, like the angel has a faint glow. As you see, I use ice yellow all over the mini, so the highlights create an integrated look for the whole miniature. Use thin layers and try to overbrush the feathers so the paint won't flow into the recesses that much. A little bit is ok, but a lot is gonna inflict a big slap on your tiny hand. Now let's pick out some angel hair locks. I try to aim for the ones on the left and the right, creating a little break on the center of the skull. This will make the hair look shiny, like it's a shampoo commercial. It's crucial that you have just enough moisture in your breast so the paint won't flow into the hair recesses, so a paper towel could be a huge ally to any painter who wants to conquer such 
challenges. Okay, we show some love to the metallic parts too. Aim for the top part of the sword with uh, shining silver and the uh, bright gold for the pummel. Now if you prefer these glowing angelic red looking eyes, then you can skip that part but I'm painting the irises uh, black. Let's add some highlights to that halo too. Same procedure and try to move the highlights close to the head. I know it's a bit tricky because you don't have much surface to work with, but just try to move the paint over the face without staining the face. With that our angels are finished. Alright, the angels have a leader too. Uh, with a bit more armor, but uh, it's exactly the same steps for that guy too. Painting one angel took like 40-45 minutes, not counting the priming because I primed all the angels at once, but I mean who counts the priming. Quality to time ratio, I'm pretty pleased with it and I hope you are as well. So thank you for joining me on this little painting adventure. A huge thanks to my patrons who support these kind of videos. With special shout out to Jonathan Rhodes, Dominic Reitman, Trying to Paint My Eyes, Jonathan Mausner, Ruzak, Vlad D, Urtepel21. If you want to support Papa Laborce's work and have early access to these videos and maybe what on the next mini, you can do that on Patreon. I hope the rest of your day will be as smooth as a granny's butt cheek.